M0 FXB Hamtech, welcome to my videos on the K Sun, which comes preloaded with Zello. Let's change it so we can use other apps like Peanut and Zello, and even add a browser and Play Store. Now, I'm not saying I recommend this, but I've been taught some steps here by Derek G5MAP. So we're going to give it a go. We have done it once and it worked fine. So I've factory, I have factory reset the device, which you can see on the left there. And we're going to start from scratch. And the first step of this is to add a program on the device called, I'm just going to minimize this here a second, Nova Launcher. And you do need version 6.2.19 that I've got here for, for this to work. Nova Launcher allows us to select a different system, Android system, that it will boot up to. Because at the moment, it launches to what they have called Nova, Nova Launcher 3, and it just will show your settings and Zello and nothing else. And even the settings cog is very, very limited. So we're gonna install and launch Nova Launcher, which gives us many more options, including adding APKs and launching APKs on the desktop of the KSUN. So this is just step one of installing the Nova Launcher. The download total control. Visor gives gives you a very similar feature of controlling and mirroring the screen and a nicer screen, but total control allows easy transfer of APKs. I find that Visor keeps failing on that, but total control doesn't. And that's we want to put an APK on here called Nova Launcher. So by default, your KSUN will connect to your PC and will connect to Total Control. And we've already done it here. So once you download from this section here, download Total Control, and you want the version for, for Windows, just click it and then just download the Windows version. It will open up like this. And then what you'll do is you'll see this window here and you'll click Connect. If it doesn't do it first time, just get the USB cable and connect it and disconnect it a few times. So we're now connected to the KSUN. We can now download the APK. If you look at the, the Nova Launcher site, now there's a lot of adverts, but you need to just find the correct one. Keep going down and you want the one, as I said at the top, 6.2.19. There it is there. I'll put a direct link in the description. We've had to click it again, then go down. It's quite annoying that it makes you do this, but you're always looking for that, that same 6.1. There it is there again, again, until you eventually see it show up here. And be careful not to just download the adverts. It could be that one there, I think. So we'll click it, close the advert, and then we'll check in our downloads that it's got that number that we're looking for. Look there, com.telescoilswlauncher, and it is the right one, look. Okay, that's the one we want. So, what we're gonna do now, leave that there for now, and right click and go show in folder, and it's there, and we did it earlier as well. See the way it's got the number 6.2.19, so leave it there. Then go back to your mirror, let's call it, of your radio, of your KSUN, and drag it, and I, this is brand new because I factory reset the device. Drag it onto the screen, and you want it to do this. If you see it installing that, you know that um, you're in business. So we're gonna call this the KSUN um, APK modification part one video. Thanks for watching so far. And let's just go, if you want to go back, just go escape. And there's our, our screen as it is at the moment. Bye for now. The next thing we're gonna do is change the screen resolution of our KSUN, which is now plugged into the Raspberry Pi that you can see on the left. And we're using real VNC to view the Raspberry Pi on my PC. So open a shell by double clicking the little shell thing here. And we're going to just type in here sudo. Let's make getting all these bits of paper out of the way. sudo space 
space. APT space install space ADB. Put that in. Sorry about the low voltage. We need a new power supply. Enter. And it's going to install this package called ADB. And what this package does, you know, in, a, in layman's terms, is allow your Linux device to talk to your Android device, which is the case on. So we'll call this part two installing your ADB software. To change screen size, we're logged in via the Pi still. We're just going to put in this command, which is ADB shell first. Enter, and you get this new window. Let's make sure that we're all connected. You won't get that fail. Let's do that again. All right, it's gone in now. It took a second, but we're there, ADB shell. And now we're going to run this command. WM. Uh, so space, size, space, and we're going to go 320. This isn't the final screen resolution. It's so we can make some changes on the screen so that we can see all the icons. 320 times 240, and then we go enter. So hopefully that's changed it. If you look at the screen, it's hard to see, but if you look, more fits on the screen now. So let's call that part three. Part four, we're going to change the screen timeout on our device. So as you can see, it keeps timing out. So what we do now is go back to our shell. So we haven't come off this at all. And we're gonna type in this time, some more settings. So here goes. We're still in the shell, so we don't have to do the ADB space shell because we're still in shell. But if you've come out, type in ADB space shell first, and then we're going to go settings. We're going to change it to four minutes. P space system space screen. And we want the flat line at the bottom, shift then flat line off just get it right system screen flat line off flat line again then timeout no space there timeout and then we're going to put in space two four then four zeros and hit enter so hopefully that's changed our screen timeout, we hope. But anyway, that's the right command. So that can be part four, changing screen timeout. So on visor, uh, let's call this really a part 2.5 or 2.b because I should have showed you this earlier. So once you've done the number one part, you drag from the top a couple of times, okay? So you, know, you drag from the top and you have to do it a couple of times and you get this cog here. And when you get to this cog, you go down to the home here and you definitely want to select Nova Launcher, okay? Nova Launcher. So that when, when it reboots, it will reboot to this screen that we've just been seeing here. So let's just go down a couple of times. So that's, that's the next step. We may as well turn on the Wi-Fi while we're here. So we just turn it on, connect Wi-Fi as it searches. Nothing connected, so we go back when we go available Wi-Fi, find our Wi-Fi, we can get our password in there now. Just pause it while I do that, then we'll press enter. So we've got our Wi-Fi and we typed it in with the keyboard. You click available and then we click connect. And now we should be connected. Click connected and yeah, we're connected to our 
our Wi-Fi. That's good news. So now we're in our resized keyboard and we're going to configure some apps. So we click the little grid there. Did you see that? We can see this grid now because we've resized things only temporarily. Click the grid and scroll down. We're going to start dragging some of the apps we like up into the search apps part. So we're going to go up like so. We're going to click on them and then go up, move them upwards like so. Go back to the grid. We haven't got many here, have we? What we can do is start to drag, drag some APKs that we've not used before. So for dragging APKs, I always use Total Control, not Visor, because I just find it just doesn't work. So I've downloaded the APKs. Go to APK Pure and download some, you know, the ones you like. You know, here's a site here, Peanut for Hams, and you can put in Echo Link and all kinds of stuff. Just choose the ones you like. When you download them, they go into your download folder. So let's drag one in as peanut here. We're going to drag it and drop it. If it works, it will actually give you the message. You know, it will actually say to you, you know, I'm doing this. And if it if you see nothing, let's just do it again. Peanut, drag it across. There you go. See it's installing APK. And then it says that it's in there. Click OK. And let's try another one, Echolink. There's one there, and we're even going to drag Droid Star in just for fun. Click OK and just dragging them in just to see if they work. So that's the next bit we do. Leave that until it says it's done. I'm back to visor now because it's just clearer. So let's just uh, look at these little selections we've got here. Widgets and things. We go to back one. It's quite, you know, I have to get used to using this. I'm not really used to it, using it. Home screen and grid layout. We want it to be, I think the one that was recommended by my friend Derek was two. So let's just move it down to two and then four. That's it. And then we'll go done. I think we are going to have to change the, the layout again. And then you've got to tinker with this because even I get a bit lost in all this. Let's go to home. Look, there's the, the apps that we've added. So they're definitely in there. Look, search apps. We need to get back to that screen that we had and drag them up into the top bit. So look, let's go to peanut there. Look, drag it, sort of click on it, hold, and then go up and put it there with the rest. <laughs> if, I've, if you've never done this, it's just fiddly because you're not really sure what you're doing. They are, look, droid star, holding it with my mouse up into that square, clicking the four things, holding it up. I think that's enough for now. Then we move on to part five, but that's uh, the apps are on the device now. And you can see them on the actual, on the actual radio. I know it's a bit dark and small, but they're definitely there. All right, it's the last video for tonight. We've got more to do another day, but um, what we're gonna do is Go back to connecting to the Raspberry Pi and open up a shell window that you can see here. Back into the ADB shell. And then we're gonna try and get the screen to a size where the apps don't look so small. So we're just gonna go ADB space S-H-E-L-L -L, and then enter. There you are, we're in, and then we're just gonna do exactly the same as we did earlier. And that is WM. And please remember I'm learning this, so 
we can come back to this and you know make more changes can't we size space and I'm going to put in 248 for now but we may change this 8 times 200 just for now and then hit enter and you'll see that the screen the apps did get a bit bigger there hopefully you'll see that and um, we, we'll have a close look at the radio and then we're gonna you know look at this again another day but that has changed the size thanks for, thanks for watching so far so hopefully you can see that this radio can be modded we're just looking at the different apps that we can choose there let's just choose one at random uh, so what's that one there just click enter give that a minute to boot It might not want to because we haven't tested that these apps even work on this device, but they're definitely on here now. Let's try Peanut. Yeah, that one's worked. Uh, let's do. I'll quickly do the setup in a minute and see if we can talk to someone. Right, we're all logged in and look, PTT on the screen. We can't do that, but we have a PTT there. M zero FXB calling for a contact. Mike zero Fox X Ray Bravo on English. So PTT works, turn the volume, that's working. Just need someone to, to talk to us really. Still got the LED flashing here. And there we go, we can, we're gonna test echo link and everything. So that's a shame that no one's coming back to us. Uh, so you can drag and drop more APKs, ETC. And uh, you know, for a 39 pound device and you can use it in this way, uh, I, I think there's more mods that we can do. We've got Droid Star on there twice. I'm not sure why I did that. But anyway, we'll come back tomorrow. We'll do more videos. But let's just go to Zello. And then we'll have to log in. It's a lot quicker logging in using our PC. So there, we quickly logged in using yeah, Visor. Huh? Let's go back. Wow. So everyone's having a good time on Zello. Let's call it a day. It's gone well. You get used to the keyboard eventually, how to sort of navigate. There's your channels. And look, the circle is a lot bigger than it was, you know, with the original setup. Bye for now, 7-3. Well,